Alright YouTube, we're back again. Um, I believe I'm going to start this as the second part to this video because obviously as you know YouTube limits your time. So our phone has rebooted and we're back at the screen. And yet again it's going to make us run through our processes. And one more time, it's going to tell us we are unable to complete your activation. So at this point, we're going to set our phone down. And we are going to run iPhone browser. Now iPhone browser is going to pull up and it's going to have a bunch of files over here on the left hand side we are looking for the system tab we're gonna expand system and then we're gonna expand library and once we expand library we're gonna go right here and select core services once it finishes reading just highlight core services and that's all you'll have to do You'll come over here to this screen on the right hand side and once it finishes reading you're going to see a bunch of files. Down at the bottom there's going to be one called the system version P list. We're going to left click that one time to highlight it. Then we're going to right click it, save as, and we're just going to save that to our desktop. All right, now that that's saved to our desktop, we are going to double click it, open it with Notepad, and it's going to come up and it's going to be a long line of words, or code I should say. What you're going to want to do is scroll all the way to the right, or the bottom, however it opens up for you. Mine opens up for me in one long sentence. Now you're gonna see this right here it's gonna say key release type key string beta string DICT P list. Right here where it shows string and DICT with these little arrows that connect right there you're gonna highlight everything from right there over to the beginning of that key release key now for some reason this thing likes to give me trouble I have no idea why alright see now where it's blue it's separate all you have is the arrow with the DICTP list and it goes all the way to the arrow in front of key release type key string beta string you want to delete that and then you want to save the file Go over here click file save now you can close that out if you were wondering if it saved, you could reopen it and scroll all the way to that far right hand side. And now you're going to see just string and then DICTP list. So close that. And what we're going to do is highlight, we're going to click that file there, the system version. And we're going to drag it over here onto the white background and let go. Now you'll be able to see that it has replaced our system version P list with this here text file. Now we can close this out and obviously our phone at this point is still unable to activate so we are going to power down one more time and put it back in DFU mode and run red snow. 
So double click red snow, get to your welcome screen, browse for your firmware, double click it, and wait for it to process. While that's processing, I'm going to go ahead and put my phone in DFU mode. Sometimes it takes longer than others to process. Alright, my phone is now in DFU mode. And it says it has successfully identified ISPW. Click Next. Let it run its processes. Once again, we're going to click Just Tether Boot. This is how you will start your phone every time if you want to use Cydia or any of your jailbroken apps or tweaks. If your battery dies, if you have to shut your phone off, this is how you have to do it. Otherwise it will not work. It's going to run its processes. Waiting for reboot. And it's finishing up. We have our pineapple so we know everything worked out again. This just tells us that the rest is going to take place on the phone. So we back out and click finish at the bottom. Alright, our phone has finished booting and now in the bottom it says slide to set up. So for the last time we're going to have to reset our preferences. Sorry about that. Now it's going to say activating your phone. Oh, look at that. Set up iPhone. Set up a new iPhone. Click next sign in with your Apple ID agree to the terms take just a second Do you want to use iCloud? Yes, you definitely want to use iCloud. It is an amazing feature. Back up to your cloud. They give you five gigabytes of storage in your cloud. And it's going to ask you if you want to use Find My iPhone. I'm just going to say no. And right now I'm not going to send them anything for diagnostics because probably we're not supposed to be running this. Thank you. Your iPhone's now set up. Start your iPhone. And now as you can see, we are running iOS 5 on an iPhone 4. There's our notification center, newsstand, and since we tether booted to get it open, City is going to be up and running. Now as always, if you like what I do when I make my videos, please comment rate and definitely subscribe and I will continue to make videos um, I hope this as is helpful for you for you as it was for me it sure took me quite a while to figure out how to get get it activated and once again if you have any issues please leave me a message and I will get back to you guys as quickly as possible thank you and please subscribe to my channel